I went to the pleasing store during its final weekend in New York a couple weekends ago and I picked up this tote bag so I kind of want to paint something on it. The store overall was so, so well designed. I really love the color palettes. I think the pleasing branding is very, very cute. It has that like retro 70s vibe. It feels like the Beatles. Yeah, I loved all of it. All of the workers were so nice. And I was planning to go in and just buy a t-shirt until I realized the t-shirts were $70. <laughs> so Harry, I love you. I'm not paying that. Um, but I did buy a cute little journal and I've been using it for note taking ever since. And I bought the little tote bag that comes with a purchase. I mean, actually, I think it was extra. It doesn't really come with it. But I was like, I'll get the tote bag and then I'll just like paint something on it. So for this tote bag, I was thinking of a kind of like Takashi Murakami vibe. And by that, I just mean I wanted flowers, but I wanted the flowers to have faces. So I did a few different colors. I went with a yellow, a green, a teal, and a reddish orange color. I started out like I do with all of my DIY projects by drawing it out in my iPad in Procreate. This has honestly been the most useful tool for me since I got my iPad like four or five years ago. It really just puts my mind at ease so I don't have to go into something you know, and just start making moves. I can plan out exactly how I want it to look so that the process is as seamless as possible. And while I was doing this, I was watching Ariana Grande's Zane Lowe interview for her new album, Eternal Sunshine, which I am obsessed with. I am an Ariana stan. They can never make me hate her. Anyway, um, I got out all of my markers and I just used my paint markers here because I'm not really planning on washing this tote. And even if I do, I mean, some of the paint might come out, but I didn't really think it was serious enough for me to get out my fabric paints. And also this tote bag is extremely thin, so I wasn't gonna waste my good, good paints on it. with social media over the last few months. I saw a lot of success on my TikTok over last summer and it kind of threw my brain into this orbit of thinking like, what do people wanna see? What other things can I make that people wanna see? When that's not even the reason that I initially started posting on TikTok. Like I have always loved to do DIYs, I've loved to paint on clothes. And after seeing some success and getting comments like, why aren't you selling? Why aren't you taking commissions? You need to sell these. I've been putting what I think people wanna see at the forefront of my brain and not just sharing the creativity that I have. Um, so I'm trying to get back to just being creative and making things and sharing them. I really wanna serve as a source of inspiration. I do a lot of DIY stuff um, and I'm not really like a step-by-step -step type of gal. Cause I mean, what it really boils down to is I paint on a lot of things. So I just wanna serve as inspiration for other creatives because I, enjoy watching creatives do the things that they like. That's the kind of stuff that I watch on YouTube. It's the kind of stuff that I like on TikTok. So that's what I want to be.
I really like how these flower faces are turning out and I kind of now want to paint them on a t-shirt or something. A t-shirt or maybe a purse, I don't know. I've also been thinking about doing this DIY for over a week and this is the first time I've had the chance to sit down and do it. And I realized that when I when it comes to these projects that I wanna do, it's the starting that is the most difficult part. I can literally stay in my head thinking about it for weeks. And I think because I'm actively thinking about it, I think that that means I'm making progress when I'm literally not at all. <laughs> like thinking isn't actually doing it. And I came across this quote or I came across this quote. I saw a TikTok the other day of a girl and all she said was, shorten the gap between thinking and doing. And it felt like a wake up call. So I wrote it on a post-it note and now it's above my desk so I can glance at it. And it's crazy because when I actually take the time and sit down and do the thing that I've been putting off, I enjoy it so much. And I had so much fun drawing these little flowers. And now I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Why did I put this off for so long? I don't know. It's just very strange. Being an artist is very weird. Anyway, here's how it turned out. I love it. And I would like to paint these on a t-shirt or something. So maybe I'll continue drawing these little flower faces on things. It's a super flimsy tote bag. So in all honesty, I might just use it for groceries or something. Like I don't see myself carrying this unless I can reinforce it in some way. I mean, I could maybe do another layer or something and sew it on with my, I don't know, we'll see. I do have my sewing machine, so that's always an option, but this is how it turned out. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.